story that we've been following out of Plymouth. And today, somebody found garbage bags with a cut-up Shetland pony inside it. Tonight, police are trying to figure out who did it. News 8's Noelle Gardner has been following this all day. Today, she's live in News 8 Control with more. Noelle? And in Darren, authorities tell me the person responsible for that horrible act may have used a chainsaw on the animal. Police releasing pictures of the dismembered pony taken at the scene. Too graphic to show you on air. Neighbors in the area tell me it's unsettling. Plymouth police are investigating a gruesome find, the remains of a dismembered pony. The cops were there taking something out of a bag. Two inmates on a work release program finding a brindle Shetland pony chopped up in trash bags along the roadside of Route 262 near Waterbury Airport and Camp Mattituck. They found five uh, black plastic garbage bags about 25 feet in off the side of the road. And uh, when they pulled them up to the road, they opened them up and they discovered uh, the remains of a, it looked like a Shetland pony. The pony remains were found on Route 262, about 25 feet off the road. Authorities tell me someone may have used a chainsaw to dismember the animal. Plymouth residents who live steps away from where the animal parts showed up say the discovery is disturbing. These type of things don't happen here. We've been here 47 years and we can get that kind of stuff. Neighbors ask who could have thrown an animal out like trash. They should be able to find out who owns the pony. Not very many people have ponies. There's no law in Connecticut that requires horse owners to register their animal. And at the scene, there were no footprints, making it difficult for police to solve this case. It looked like they were tossed from there because there was no footprints in the snow leading up to the bags. Tonight, police need your help. If you have any information, you are urged to call the Plymouth Police Department. I'm live tonight in News 8 Control. Noel Gardner, News 8.